traveling the world for gold Some daddy's made of plastic and some other things I love Won't you come along with me, there's no time for rejection Hold on tight, such a delight, it's Brian's Wrestling Collection Collection Me, 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 me What's up, everybody? This is Brian Hardy, and this is another episode of Brian's Wrestling Collection. And today, we got a package in from eBay. I'm very excited about this. This is a time of the year where I normally would uh, start buying a ton of wrestling magazines. And I feel like all throughout the summer, I sit poolside, and every day, like that scene in Billy Madison where he's like, you know, it's Nudie Mag Day, or whatever the hell, well... It's not nudie mag day, well sort of, but it's more uh, pro wrestling mag day, and it's that's exciting like to have that happen like once or twice a week in the summer, and like I said, to be sitting poolside and go through history and check out these old style magazines, they're awesome. So I thought I would unbox this today with you guys, but I didn't want to uh, be on the air cutting the box open because if you would have seen me, I was in a full blown panic and freaking out, and it just wasn't good. So. Um, that's the thing about cutting, you know, boxes like this open. You pray to God that the person that, you know, packed it, packed it okay. And this guy did an alright job with it. I, uh, I've ordered a lot of magazines from this seller on eBay in the past, and he always does, you know, pretty good with everything. So, uh, last summer I got a lot of good stuff, and I feel like I just got a ton of good stuff today. So, let's check it out. Wrestling. WrestleMania Bombshell. This is from May of 1991. With Sting, the Ultimate Warrior, and Hulk Hogan on the front cover. And that was why I wanted to get that. Because there's three of the main players from my childhood right there on the on the front cover of that magazine. So, uh, I wanted to get that. This was pretty cool. This was a last minute buy the other day. Uh, Hogan and Flair. Uh, the Wrestling Eye from May 1992. That thing is pretty awesome there. So, Women of Wrestling. Some nice hot chick on the back in the old school wrestling outfits. Uh, wrestling main event, February 1985. Greg the Hammer Valentine nails Santana for the Intercontinental title. That's pretty awesome. really like that. Wrestling World, December 1986. Uh, 1986 was a good year for wrestling. This has Bruce the Barber Beefcake on the front of it. But, um, I, uh, I really just wanted to get the 86 and 85 magazines to see what type of AWA Remco, uh, advertisements, if they had any inside of them. So, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm a huge Hogan fan, so, uh, this was June 1991, uh, WrestleMania Report Wrestling... All Stars? Oh, it looks like it says Hall Stars, but who knows? Heroes and Villains, Hulk Hogan. Pretty cool magazine. What we got over here. Alright, we got uh, Sports Review Wrestling from November 1989, Hulk Hogan's Toughest Matches. And I thought the coolest thing about this was that uh, Hogan and the Big Boss Man were on the front, and I remember as a kid having Columbia House videos that had a lot of. Hogan boss man matches on it, including a steel cage match that I really liked as a kid. Uh, March 1986, I just thought this magazine was cool. Wrestling's main event, uh, I thought it was cool because it had Hogan wearing a Gold's Gym California t-shirt. So, that was pretty awesome. On the back here you got Macho Man and Pedro Morales. That's cool. And last but not least, uh, Ronnie Garvin back with a bang. Hands of Stone grabs AWA title from Henning. Wrestling All-Stars is the name of this magazine, apparently. It looked like it said Hall Stars on the other one, but I guess because it had a bubble there. Um, and this is from February 1989 with uh, Hogan and Elizabeth on the front cover. And on the back, you got Dr. Death Steve Williams. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. I am uh, very excited because I'm going to be spending a lot of time out by the pool possibly even in the hot tub, just uh, catching up, reading a ton of old wrestling magazines. So I got eight magazines in now, and I'm excited about that. And I will be uh, 
checking these bad boys out, and I'll be ordering more in the next couple of weeks. My magazine uh, collection is absolutely ridiculous, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. A lot of it not only is just awesome old school wrestling magazines, but a lot of them I'm starting to have the covers of them signed and stuff like that, so... There's the goods right there. The wrestling ring. So awesome. And I think the thing that's even cooler is Baltimore, Maryland was the place where you would place your order. Right there, bam. Look at all of those legendary LJN figures. That is so cool. Pro Wrestling Illustrated. You could get your frisbee <laughs> or your hat t-shirt, bumper sticker, button, or deluxe package. Home video library, Pro Wrestling Illustrated home video library, Lords of the Ring, Ring Masters, Slaughter, Riot of the Rising Sun, Von Erich's front row ringside, Von Erich's fan bonus. So this is pretty crazy. VHS tapes, you know, back in the day. Awesomeness. We could totally get WrestleMania for $49.99 for Nintendo. Super awesome. But why stop there when we could head over here and get the uh, VCR WrestleMania game for uh, $19.99? That would be awesome. Save 30 bucks, limited offer while supplies last. Wrestling All-Stars magazine. You had to get your back issues somehow. So you could totally do that. Some of these have great looking covers on them too. The Rock and Roll Express. Well, I got that Midnight Rockers one right there with uh, Doug Summers and Marty Jannetty on the cover. I got that last summer. Or you could snag up Superstar Wrestlers. I just had Ronnie Garvin sign that front cover of that magazine. You can get wrestling poster magazines. So awesome. There's your little order form. When times were way cooler back then. And like I said, I think that this was 89, so I wasn't even born yet. This was a year before I was even born, so... So this is pretty cool because obviously you can get your, you know, Vixens videos and all that other kind of stuff. Tons of female fight stuff and scantily clad women and stuff back then that they wouldn't go all crazy and freak out because they were actually making a ton of money back then. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is crazy cool to me. World Heavyweight Champion title belt. Replica belt back then. eighty nine ninety five. Man, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if anybody actually even owns this, but if they do, I would really love you to like DM me sometime or message or whatever and send a picture of that because I don't even know anybody that owns that, but that's really cool. So if you have that belt, send me a picture. Everybody's got to love bad company, so I really just uh, wanted to show this because those AWA tag team titles are beautiful. Missed last month's action. Catch up on the wrestling eye back orders. Man, that's awesome. Some really good covers here. Hogan was the man. Women of wrestling. Oh, you better get some stuff from Bad Street USA. T-shirts, buttons, keychains, hats, bandanas, sweatshirt. Man. Well, I guess I didn't have any luck this go around with finding any AWA uh, 
figure, Remco figure uh, advertisements, but a ton of cool different, you know, wrestling magazine covers and hats and t-shirts and stuff. So we'll see if on the next buy I get something. Either cool. way, this is cool. This is another episode of Brian's Wrestling Collection, and I hope to see you this summer poolside with me reading some wrestling magazines. Till next time, guys. Take care.